Hey, this is Al McGee with Your Entertainment Ticket at www.yeticket.com. Well, the film I'm going to talk about right now is called Incredibles 2. Well, you know, we waited 14 years for Brad Bird to finally come out with The Incredibles 2. Because, you know, for Pixar, they did a lot of other sequels. Some of them were not that great. But is this one good? Well, first of all, it's Pixar, so you know the animation is top-notch. It's very, very good. But what about the story? Well, first of all, in this movie, they waste no time in getting into the story. And when they got into the story, it was all action. And also, it seemed to pick up from the last film, you know, the last incredible film that they had. Now, part of the story, too, is this. Now, the government, the officials who run the world, who make decisions for everyone, they don't want any more superheroes because they create a lot of damage as they demonstrated in this film. For example, if a bank robber wants to rob a bank, let him because the bank is insured. So there's no problem with that. But when a superhero get involved, they destroy streets and buildings and cars and things like that, trying to catch the villain. Just let the villain rob the bank and they're off. But there's a guy named Winston Deaver voiced by Bob Ordenkirk. Well, he wants them to rescind that law, and he loves superheroes because his father loves superheroes. And he's working with his sister Evelyn with the voice of Katherine Keener. Well, they want to make superheroes great again. That's what they really want to do. Well, Mr. Incredible, or Bob, voiced by Craig T. Nelson, he's still here. Well, you know, as his wife decided to, well, you know, let me help them out. She elastic girl and her voice is by Holly Hunter. She said, well, you know, man, let me try this out. Of course, you know, they got Dash with the voice of Huck Milner and they got Violet Sarah Vile. She's still here, too. But also they got little Jack Jack and he is trying to learn all his abilities. Now, he has a lot of different abilities, and according to the story, he got to figure out which one is his best ability. Well, all that goes on in this film, and also the voice of Samuel Jackson is still here, too. Well, the only concern I had about this film is that it had less humor than the last film, and it's not a lot of big jokes, but, well, Jack-Jack is the comic relief for this film. Again, there's plenty of action, but the storyline is a little predictable. Kids will enjoy this film, and adults will enjoy the action. So, this is a family fun affair. I give it three palm trees out of four. Because the whole family will enjoy Incredibles 2. Now, some people might say, oh, it's just almost the same old thing. That's okay. I enjoyed it. Well, thank you for watching my review about The Incredibles 2, which I gave three palm trees out of four, and that means it's entertaining and it's family fun. I'm glad you watched my video. I really appreciate it.